your children, he may be a real bad influence, but he's damn funny. Here's Nick DiPaolo. How are you, folks? All right. Having fun in Montreal, I've spent a load of money because I can't take it serious. It's pink and yellow and green and blue and... Uh... <laughs> It's the only country in the world, if you want to launder money, you got to do a separate wash. And I was like... <laughs> I was on my favorite street today, St. Catherine Street. It's a street named after a saint. Nothing but peep shows and whores up and down the sidewalk, so... <laughs> Apparently the patron saint of chlamydia, I guess, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't speak French. I've had a lot of trouble up here this week. But when I say hello, folks, that means don't go bonjour, because I don't speak French. Hello means I don't speak French, you know? Even at the airport at Air Canada, I go, hello, ladies, bonjour. No, I said, hello! <laughs> then she goes, is there anything in your bag that can do harm during the flight? I said, yeah, an English dictionary and a bar of soap. <laughs> I love the city. I'm living in Los Angeles now. Los Angeles, the city of angels. Yeah, O.J. Simpson, the Menendez brothers, the Hillside Strangler, Charlie Manson. Hardly enough halos to go around. <laughs> Quick impression, you know, it's a violent city, folks. You know, it's the most violent place I've ever lived in my life. Quick impression, me and my ATM machine in Los Angeles. Huh. Seven, three, it's two. <laughs> Six months later, different bank, you know, seven, three, two. Yeah, I'd like to make a withdrawal. I want to buy a helmet. I have all these gangs in my neighborhood now. I don't even mind the gang violence. It's the way these kids dress that piss me off. Do I have to look at every teenager's ass crack for the rest of my life? You know? Hey, Billy, you're five foot two. Why don't you try your 68 long with those jeans? I go, why do you wear your pants so big? It's where I keep my weapons, man. What, do you got a tank and two Jeeps in your pants? <laughs> now kids are shooting each other because they're wearing the wrong colors, which I thought was stupid till I saw my father in purple slacks and a yellow sweater. <laughs> I'm starting to see the Crips point. What are those, white shoes after Labor Day? I don't think so, Grandma. <laughs> Nobody speaks English in Los Angeles. Nobody's from that country. It's unbelievable. I'm starting to understand the whole thing up here with the language. I go into a convenience store to buy a pack of gum. The guy doesn't speak English behind the counter. The transaction takes so long. I end up using two sick days at work, you know? Yeah, can I get some chiclets, please? He's grabbing the shaving cream, the deuce. Chicklets, man, like the one in your head. Chicklets. <laughs> People are shoplifting to save time, not money. <laughs> God, help us. We're becoming so desensitized to violence in the States, we're blaming the victims now. I'm watching the news the other night. Some guy got killed by a stray bullet while he's pumping gas at a gas station. They interview the eyewitness, the eyewitness goes, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hey, where the hell do you go when your tank is on E, Dairy Queen? Come on. <laughs> wrong place at the wrong time. He was getting gas at noontime on a Tuesday. <laughs> you have socialized medicine up here. I think we should try it in the States. I had to go to the hospital about a month ago. I stepped on my nail, on, on a, a nail in my apartment. You go to the emergency room, you need immediate care. What do they make you do when you get there? I waited three and a half hours, and this nurse comes out with this pissy attitude. How are you gonna pay for this? I said, with my life if you don't pick up the pace. <laughs> I'm bleeding like Ted Kennedy's liver. Can I get a Band-Aid, thank you? <laughs> I don't wanna say there was a long line in the waiting room, but the guy in front of me was being treated for a musket wound. <laughs> the head nurse comes out, is there a John Quincy Adams here? It'll be another 55 minutes. There's like 20 people in the waiting room, like 15 of them had urine samples in their hand. I thought I was at Oktoberfest, you know?
I actually went in the bathroom, peed in a cup, came out and said, somebody's gonna say it, here's to good French. <laughs> you guys have a lot of fun, thanks a lot, all right. Thank you very much. Wouldn't it be ironic if this was followed by a beer commercial?